Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be, welcome back to the channel. Welcome for the first time if you're new around here, my name is Widowed, aka James, and it is officially the start of spoiler season, baby. We are starting to get one reveal a day, and I'll have videos every day unless it's very minor reveals. If they just reveal something like boosted drop rates, then, you know, I'm not going to make a video on that. But in the case of actual reveals like this one, we will be having a video, and today's is all about the tier 1 relics, which have quite some changes from previous. I'm going to play the video first that they released. It's only 30 seconds long. Just for those who haven't seen it and then we'll talk about uh, overall what my opinion of this tier is and then each of the three in turn Very abrupt end to that video there, but yes. So tier one this time around is the harvest relics, rather than previously what we've had is a choice like production prodigy that made AFK activities quicker, one called endless harvest that made basically all of these ones joined together, like all of your things just go to the bank basically, and one called trickster which had a bunch of different things including some of the hunter things that are involved in this one, and it seems like instead they've sort of split endless harvest into three different see into three different relics rather than just having it as one that was a choice so everyone's gonna get some version of endless harvest now but only one third of it depending on which third they pick logs metal or fish basically so it's an interesting change and we may still see things like Production Prodigy and Trickster coming into play later down the line in the tiers because you have to remember without combat relics being a big part of it, there's only one tier of combat relics this league, there's going to be a lot more space for other effects. So I think this kind of makes sense and it'll start to make more sense when we see more of the reveals come through. Right now though, let's just look at them in a vacuum and see exactly what we've got here. Now I do personally think there is a correct choice here. Like there's a choice that I think I'm taking after a brief glimpse and I don't think I'm going to change my mind on that. But we'll go through all of them anyway. Now each of them give a different item. The power miner to start with gives you the echo pickaxe which is a non-degradable variant of the Crystal Pickaxe and has no requirements to equip. It hasn't been confirmed whether they have combat stats yet. It says, they said no relevant stats, which I'm not sure what that means, if it's the same as a Crystal or if it's just like a Bronze or whatever. Y you get a Crystal one basically, so it's really, really good. And if you did have a chance of failing when you're mining a rock, you now have a 50% chance to succeed instead on top of that so much less likely to fail you'll be able to mine for much longer speaking of mining for much longer rocks won't deplete until you've mined four ore so you can stay at one rock for four ore which is pretty damn good and of course the items automatically get sent to your bank doesn't stack with mining gloves does stack with the existing mining gloves sorry with a cap of seven ores from a given node so that's pretty big you get like seven rune ores in a row crazy and you'll also be able to toggle the effects of automatically smithing the bars and cutting the gems that you get while mining now that's pretty good and area where i think power miner will shine kind of probably obviously is as garnier if you've got access to the mining guild if you can stack with those mining gloves to get up to seven extra ores if you also have access to a cannon from as garnier and need cannonballs then these mining gloves are going to be great for you automatically smithing it all i'm guessing that means you can make iron straight into steel bars without needing coal which then means tons and tons and tons of cannonballs you'll be set so i definitely think there's there's places for this to be good i mean it's it's powerful obviously it's powerful all relics are power-ups personally don't think it's the best of the three i would put it in the middle slot i think it's the second most valuable one it's not the worst you could do better unless i think asgarnia is probably the one region that 
makes the most use of this. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's not a great deal of smithing that's like relevant, is there, in the game? That's the thing. Cannonballs are like the only relevant thing to smith. So yep, I would I would pick this if you're as Garnier and maybe not if you're not. It's basically my roundup of that. The lumberjack. Now this one I would say is probably the worst one. It's the same effect, you get a crystal axe that doesn't degrade. 50% chance to succeed if you would fail chopping a tree, woodcutting items sent to the bank, and you can automatically burn logs or fletch them into arrow shafts for fletching or fire making XP when cutting them. And you never fail to make fires with any logs at any fire making level. Not that you would ever fail anyway, it would just retry and retry and retry, but you know. Now I don't think I really need to explain why this is the bottom. There's nothing really here. Like, fire making is not a difficult skill to train. Fletching's a zero time skill in a lot of circumstances. Woodcutting's not that hard to do, and you can woodcut and then cut the shafts so you don't have to leave the tree, or you can burn fires, which is easy, why like, so you don't have to leave the tree. Like, it's not something that really benefits that much from uh, banking logs anyway. So, yeah, like, if you're already cutting them into shafts or burning them, what's the benefit of banking them as well? Like, it doesn't bank anything, right? I guess it'd bank your arrow shafts. Well, well done, you're saving one inventory space. I don't I don't really see that this one has a lot going for it. I suppose if it does have stats, then the Echo Axe might be decent. It's probably better than either of the other two, but I'm struggling to see any new reason to pick this, really. If you like it, feel free to give me reasons in the comments why you think this is good, but I can't imagine anyone really picking this good luck if you do i guess not much more to say on that one now this is the one that i think is the best one and it's the longest one as you can see it actually doesn't fit on my screen fully the animal wrangler now this one gives you the echo harpoon which will be a non-degradable crystal harpoon same as the others you get 50 percent chance to succeed when you would have failed items gathered are automatically sent to your bank fish caught have a 50 percent chance to be automatically cooked which grants cooking experience that's pretty cool it'll save you a lot of time and when you combine with this very last line down here you no longer burn food when cooking uh, that means that's great that's just sending cooked food straight to your bank like if you're sat at karambuans you're sat at karambuans infinitely some of them are being cooked some of them are not and there's no burnt ones going in there it's pretty fucking good the spots never move you attempt to catch one tick faster as well come on it can be used as a substitute for things that don't usually require a harpoon to be caught net big net lobster pot or rod so you never use, need to bring those tools with you you just get your, your echo harpoon you're good to go additionally i think regardless of i don't think the echo harpoon needs to be with you to get these hunter benefits but you get these hunter benefits too which are kind of like from tricks that last year chin chompers are doubled when caught and give double xp they also caught faster and will never fail and implant jars no longer break so these are some very nice hunter effects especially if you're planning on picking valamore this league or a region with any chin chompers that are valuable if you've got access to red or black chins from wilderness kandarin or taranwin then you're probably gonna be wanting to to lean towards this to take advantage of those implant jar thing not too relevant for the most part but the box traps with the chin chomper things definitely nice and even if you've only got grey chins it can still be decent and everyone has grey chins on soul wars isle for those who didn't know so yeah i think this one is the best one i mean the one thing that everybody uses on every single account other than self nightmare mode is food everyone needs cooked food and to be able from the first minute that you log in to the end of the game to be able to go oh, okay i'll afk here when i come back i'll have 200 karam ones like after a smoke break you know 200 cut karam ones 200 raw ones we're good to go 
I, I think this is a uh, pretty much an auto pick unless maybe you have Asgarnia or if you just really like one of the other skills and want to play with it more. But for me, in terms of power, this one is definitely going to hold the top seat and it will more than likely be the one that I pick unless other information that we get suggests that one of the others might be better. Anyway, those are my initial thoughts for this day one reveal. There's not really much more to say that hasn't been already. They each give you very similar effects for mining, woodcutting, or fishing respectively, but with the mining one, you get smithing slash crafting XP bonus. With the woodcutting one, you get fletching slash fire making bonus. And with the animal wrangler one, you get hunter and cooking bonus, which I think is just more valuable to have in general. And that's why I'm erring towards it. But let me know in the comments what are you going to be picking? What are you looking at right now at least? Even if you don't know for sure. And if there's any reasons you think some of the, the first two might be better. That I glossed over or missed. Definitely leave them in the comments. I'm sure other people will appreciate it as well as me. <laughs> Maybe you'll even change my mind. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We just passed 500 recently and I'm blessed. Thank you so much for everyone for the support. It's been fantastic. I also opened channel memberships, so if you want to go the extra mile to support the content, you can get a membership and have some additional effects, like a little capybara next to your name. That's going to be it for this one. I will hopefully see you tomorrow for another sick reveal, and I will see you all on launch day for some animal wrangling. Take care of yourself, look after one another. See you on the next one.